Renowned songwriter Richard M. Sherman, who wrote music for movies like Mary Poppins, died on Saturday at the age of 95. Disney revealed that the songwriter passed away in Los Angeles at Cedars Sinai Medical Center from an age-related illness. The songwriter was known for his years of collaboration with his brother Robert B. Sherman. Later this month, on Friday, May 31, there will be a funeral at Culver City, California's Hillside Memorial Park Cemetery. Richard is survived by Elizabeth Gluck, his spouse with whom he got married in 1957. Gregory and Victoria, their two new children, were welcomed. Linda, a kid from a prior marriage to Corinne Newman, was also shared by him. Sherman won multiple awards throughout the course of his illustrious career, including two Oscars and three Grammy Awards. Bib Iger, the CEO of the Walt Disney Company, said in a statement that Richard Sherman embodied the essence of what it meant to be a Disney legend. Writing the beloved classics that have become a treasured part of the soundtrack of our lives, along with his brother Robert. From movies like Mary Poppins and The Jungle Book to theme parks like It's a Small World, the Sherman Brothers' music has won over listeners of all ages. Iger went on, saying, we are deeply sorry for Richard's family and will always be appreciative of the impact he made on the world. Pete Docter, the chief creative officer of Pixar Animation Studios, added, Even in his 90s he had more energy and enthusiasm than anyone, and I was always left renewed by Richard's infectious joy for life. Songs like, Spoonful of Sugar, don't exist without a genuine love of life, which Richard passed on to everyone lucky enough to be around him. After hearing of Richard's passing, Disney reported that film historian Leonard Maltin also had a few things to say. The songs of the Sherman brothers, who were professional optimists who found the ideal patron in Walt Disney, had a positive outlook that permeated Richard's troubled and difficult life. July 12, 1928, saw the birth of Richard in New York City. He and his brother, Robert, later became songwriters like their father. Richard's family relocated to Beverly Hills in 1937, and he later studied music theory and performance at Beverly Hills High School, where he also learned the flute and piano. Notably, the artist sang at the 1946 commencement ceremony alongside classmate Andre Previn, who went on to win four Oscars, including Best Score for My Fair Lady. Richard enlisted in the U.S. Army in 1953 and served in the Army Band until 1955. In addition, he studied music at Bard College in the state of New York. Richard and his brother Robert started writing music shortly after Richard graduated. The two created the Music World Corporation, their own music publishing business, in 1958. Tall Paul, sung by Annette Funicello, shot to the top 10 chart that same year, marking the beginning of Richard and Robert's rise to fame. Walt Disney immediately became aware of the Sherman brothers and eventually employed them to write songs for the Walt Disney Company. It's a Small World, After All, a famous song that was performed during the 1964 New York World's Fair, was written by the two during this period. The brothers wrote songs for the hit movie Mary Poppins, which starred Julie Andrews and Dick Van Dyke and debuted in theaters in 1964. The Sherman Brothers took home two Oscars the next year, one each for Best Original Song, Chim Chim Sherry E, and Best Score. Richard talked about the chance he got to work on Mary Poppins alongside his brother in a 2011 interview with Scott Feinberg of The Hollywood Reporter. One day, Walt Disney had just accepted one of our songs, he remarked. For a Zorro episode, I believe, he remarked, you know what a nanny is? And we acknowledged that it was a goat that we assumed he was going to draw a picture of a singing nanny goat or something. No, 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 in an English nursery. He exclaims, Richard remembered answering, Oh, yeah, sure, there's a nanny in an English nursery, that's right. He then states, Well, I've got a book. Please read this and let me know what you think that he didn't say, I have this book, I want you to write me a title song for it, or, I have a situation I want you to write for this character to sing. It was as simple as, read the book and tell me what you think. Other notable film compositions that Richard contributed to were Charlotte's Web, 1973, The Aristocats, 
1970, The Jungle Book, 1967, and Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, 1988, which also starred Dick Van Dyke. He was nominated for an Academy Award for Best Original Song for the song, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Over his career, the songwriter received nine Oscar nominations and took home two wins. In 1975, he was also awarded three Grammys, two for Mary Poppins and one for Winnie the Pooh and Tigger too. The Boys, The Sherman Brothers Story, a documentary, was also released in 2009. Their music is unforgettable, is the concept. They have a legendary name. Explore the life and artistic legacy of this successful songwriting team, whose songs can be heard in beloved films including The Jungle Book, 1967, and Mary Poppins, 1964, according to an IMDb synopsis. Additionally, B.J. Novak and Jason Schwartzman played the couple in the 2013 film Saving Mr. Banks. The Sherman brothers were formally recognized as Disney legends in 1990 and were later inducted into the Songwriters Hall of Fame in 2005. Richard has worked on stage productions of musicals, including Bedknobs and Broomsticks, Mary Poppins, A Spoonful of Sherman, and Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. The brothers also composed music for other mediums, such as the song You're 16, which was performed by Ringo Starr of the Beatles in 1973 after being sung by Johnny Burnett in 1960.